Hey guys, today I'll be talking about Windows 10 and why I've actually been considering switching to another operating system. So, as you can obviously see, I've decided to take on a new style of recording. I don't usually do the traditional uh, recording styles, my room moves around quite a bit, but we'll try this out and see how it goes, and you can obviously see my lighting isn't too great, but I'll try and figure something out. But anyway, I wanted to talk about Windows 10 and why I've just been wanting to, you know, ditch it and go with something else. Now, one of the reasons for that is uh, stability. Now, you can see my PC right here. It's an X79 system uh, based on a uh, Intel Xeon E5 2667. It's, you know, a great solid chip. I'll put a video to the benchmarks up there, but, uh, you know, the motherboard is the real uh, limiting factor here. Now, my motherboard is an Intel DX79SR. It was released back in 2011, so, you know, really early days of the X79 platform. And let's just say it's not that great for Windows 10. Now, the board itself is pretty solid, you know, made for that higher, higher end uh, platform. But, you know, Intel, they make great CPUs. At least they did at some point, not doing too great now. But I don't think they're that great at making motherboards. Now, it's fairly subjective, but Intel discontinued their boards in 2015 and they removed all the drivers and software, all that stuff. Quite recently, actually, I think it was last year. I'm lucky that I got the BIOS file, but other than that, I didn't get anything else. But the main reason why it's just not been great on this motherboard is that Intel boards, not a single one, maybe they're Nooks, I guess that's the exception, but no Intel board really supports Windows 10. Now, I'm sure there's some people out there with, you know, other boards of different uh, platforms and sockets, stuff like that, but mine I've had quite the experience with. Stability just day-to-day -day isn't that great like I usually have it crash, you know, two or three times usually at you know least But uh, yeah, stability is definitely one of the biggest issues. I mean even if I do try and install the drivers, which you know I can use the uh, storage driver and um, audio driver from Windows 8.1 but on Windows 10 this just behaves weirdly. Sometimes I have to restart it just to get something working like the start menu just stops working or Every time I try to open the uh, file explorer, it would just, you know, restart every time. Not the actual system, but the file explorer. But my point is, it's not stable, and I kind of need a better alternative. The alternative is Linux. Now, I've actually used Linux before. Uh, I've used uh, Linux Mint and uh, I think Elementary OS. Those are the two I've, uh, you know, actually used for quite some time. Now, Windows 10, you know, it isn't great. You know, updates are forced onto you. There's bloatware. It's not the cleanest overall in terms of, you know, usability. I mean, you know, Windows 7, Windows XP, even Windows 8.1 I have nostalgia for. You know, Windows XP was on the, that old Dell computer, the old family Dell computer. And, you know, I remember using it a little bit. You know, Windows XP, that was cool. It's dead now, unfortunately. And Windows 7, I haven't used that as much as XP or 8.1, but... It was a really cool operating system. I don't remember, you know, updates being really an issue. I mean, Windows updates, they've been around for quite some time, but whenever like Windows 8, I think, rolled around, that's whenever it became, you know, much more of an issue. It's more forced onto you, but I digress. Now, while I have had experience with those, uh, you know, previous Linux distros that I said before, uh, I actually decided to go with something different. Um, I think I'm gonna try out Manjaro Linux. Um, it's based on the Arch Linux uh, platform. I don't know if that's the right Linux terminology, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try that out. Now, it's cool and all that I, you know, figured out what Linux distro I plan on installing, but what about, you know, gaming and other, you know, tasks I usually do? So one thing I use my computer for is gaming. You know, that's one of the bigger ones for sure. I'm not a big gamer, but you know, I play something here and there. And you can actually download Steam and just run them like you normally would. Now, stability and compatibility with certain games is, you know, still a mixed bag. And uh, I think that depends on distribution as well, if I'm correct. But uh, I think I should be fine trying that out, seeing that it's improved uh, over the past few months, actually. Another thing is video editing. I don't think HitFilm Express is compatible, that's what I usually use, but... Uh, I think uh, DaVinci Resolve, that's compatible with Linux, so I think I'll just try that out. I mean, HitFilm is really cool, I've gotten used to it. Well guys, I think that wraps things up. I just wanted to talk about what my plans are. I'll probably make another video uh, going over, you know, my experience after using it for a while. And yeah, I do plan on using Manjaro, but 
yeah, my next video will probably just discuss, you know, how it was, what I missed and what I didn't, and if I plan on staying with it permanently. I'll also even be recommending if you should do it, which honestly doesn't seem like a terrible idea. And if you don't rely on, you know, many things on Windows 10, then it's really a no-brainer, honestly. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.